meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon, and we are looking at uh, more rain tonight, and this uh, rain has been very beneficial. We picked up over an inch at the airport in Corpus Christi last night and since midnight 800s. So that has helped us catch up on our rain totals here. For the month, we're actually above average now for the month of May, but for the year, the deficit is just under three inches. I think we're going to make up some of that again tonight, and later this week, more rain is in the forecast. Outside right now, we have 83 in Corpus Christi, a light breeze from the east at 10 miles an hour. Some darker clouds in Beeville as inland areas are seeing a couple of showers and storms out there. It's 84 at Beeville right now, but still dry in 84 at Rockport. But in Kingsville, we do have some rain starting to approach from the west. It's tracking eastward toward Kingsville. And we have that temperature at 81 degrees. You can see that area of rain and thunderstorms in Jim Wells County and some in Duval County. There is a stronger storm and this one is sitting northwest of Premont by about nine miles, approaching Highway 281. And with the core of the storm, there's a strong updraft that is producing some larger hail. And hail uh, in the past uh, 15 minutes, I did see this go up to a penny size hail. Now it's down to just less than a half of an inch. So some small hail in that storm, which is uh, just to the west of 281 and northwest of Premont. That is drifting to the east and uh, that rain uh, is starting to make its way into Clayburg County. Also another thunderstorm heading into Alice right now with possible heavy downpours for Alice within the next half hour. So tonight we're going to see the activity increase and it, most of this is going to occur between 3 and 7 in the morning. There's that potential for damaging wind with some of the storms. We do have a slight severe risk and heavy rain is likely some places could see four inches of rain. Others, possibly just an inch. It's going to vary across the region. But damaging wind, the main threat, as well as some heavy rain, and uh, the tornado threat's very low. So it's mainly straight line winds ahead of that line of storms that'll come in late tonight and toward the morning hours. So as we look at what's happening, basically we still have an upper level low spinning, and that is generating these uh, little waves that come through occasionally. Right now, we do have a few storms in our inland areas, but those late tonight will increase ahead of our cold front and we will see these moving in from the northwest. Forecast models differ on the exact positioning of the heaviest rain but nevertheless I think storms are likely for all of the coastal bend but rainfall amounts will vary. You can see future tracker by midnight perhaps a few thunderstorms developing most of those from 3 to about 7 in the morning. Notice the dark red colors and even some purple showing up on this model. If that happens that would be some very heavy rainfall around 5 to 6 in the morning. However, uh, again, one of our models takes that a little farther to the south of us. Nevertheless, uh, it's early morning hours. You'll hear the thunder and lightning. Uh, you'll hear the thunder, see the lightning, and then this will all clear out. And by noon tomorrow and afternoon, you can see it's already breaking up. We're seeing some sunshine and a northeast breeze to make for a pretty nice afternoon for your Tuesday. Now this is another one of our forecast models. You see the difference in rainfall amounts depending on where that the strongest storms travel. It's possible the uh, heaviest rain may push to our south with lighter amounts north. Corpus Christi on this forecast model coming in close to an inch and I do think that that 5.5 inches is a little high. I'm thinking more one to two inches looks most likely for most areas coming in at least an inch of rain. So storms are likely late tonight with some with heavy rain. Temperatures will drop thanks to the rain cooled air. And then tomorrow, pretty nice day, the clouds break up. And then we'll see the area of low pressure returning Friday. Behind that main low, there's another lobe and that settles in here Friday. So late Thursday night, Friday morning, we could see another complex of storms and then on and off storm chances this upcoming weekend. It looks like the chances will decrease somewhat as we get into Saturday and Sunday.